So, um, a little bit of a mod before I go out. I got some spacers on the ESS tuning. I got 12 millimeter with uh, extended lugs and also 15. And I'm gonna see which ones fit better on which side and if I have to get another pair, if I like the like a square setup with the spacers. But I'm thinking of doing probably 15 in the front and 12 in the rear. So with these, you can see it says 12. 12 millimeter right there. So this will go in the rear. And these 15s are going to go in the front. So with the 15 on the front, you can see just about flush with a little bit of poke. And that's what the look that I was going for. Yeah, that should look good. Um, you know, it's really important to get some quality spacers. I've had experiences with cheap spacers that bend and you'll end up with a wobbly tie on the freeway. <laughs> um, so let's put the claws in the rear and see how it goes. With the claws in the rear, I get just a little bit of poke. And fit a full car, uh, full uh, back seat with people and not rub, I don't think. And put the car down and tighten it up and see how it looks. So, the car back on the floor, let's look at the front 15 millimeter stock. You can't even see the wheel. I have this much space, and now. Perfect. Let's go to the rear. Pokes out. I like the look. It makes it look more aggressive. Versus here. No poke whatsoever. Go down right here, you can see the difference. And now back over here. Overall, pretty pleased. I'm gonna go get the torque wrench and torque everything down. I think it's a hundred and five foot pounds, so let's get this buttoned up. And it's all buttoned up. 15 millimeter in the front, 12 in the rear. I think it's a good fit. No rubbing, and this is on uh, the competition setup. There we go. Not bad.